the filmmakers wish to advise Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people that this film may contain images and voices of deceased persons. I come from Nanama Mission, which is just outside of Wellington, New South Wales. Growing up, I remember Dad drinking alcohol a bit. Police often came to the door. It was about picking Dad up. If he didn't make it home that night, it was probably because he'd been locked up. There was always domestic violence. And poor old Mum, you know, sometimes I wouldn't recognise her. It was just like seemed a normal thing in our community. Get drunk, get locked up. When you've been someone who the police have turned up and taken your partner, you don't get to see them again until you either meet them at the police station or that you see them in court, then you've got to go and visit them in jail. You become quite angry and you isolate yourself from people and you don't want to talk about it because people judge you. I was invited to a ladies' weekend where they had been supporting women who had someone in jail. I met all these lovely ladies and I never really even thought that there were non-Aboriginal people in jail. I only ever thought Aboriginal people were in jail. <laughs> the non-Aboriginal ladies just loved me. Back to health. And um, I ended up asking Jesus to come into my, my heart that weekend. We have women from all walks of life that have had someone in jail. We've had women from all ethnic backgrounds that have had someone in jail. The thing that I want for other women is just to know that someone cares, someone loves them. I hope that they can see some reprieve and I hope that they can just connect and be able to talk about their experience if they want to. It's very healing to know that someone's willing to listen to you and not judge you. I just want the, the army to be accepting of our people and not just think, oh, we don't want to worry about what's happened in the past. We treat everybody the same because it really isn't treating everyone the same. Some people need a little bit more love. And if I hadn't got that little bit more love, I probably wouldn't be sitting here now. You've got to go the extra mile. I don't have to put up with the old life I had where I was always worried about Dad coming home drunk and beating Mum up or worried about having to go to the hospital or the jail to visit my brother. Like, I wouldn't change that. I wouldn't want not want that. But I'm glad I don't have to live that life anymore.